future of the last remaining Columbus fleet replica ship remains in doubt today. The deadline to find new owners is this Friday. Sunrise reporter Chelsea Torres is live this morning at the Lawrence Street Tea Hut where the ship is located. Good morning, Chelsea. Good morning. So the Marina tells us that as of right now, there are actually no interested owners in owning La Nina and she's not even for sale. It would technically be just a trade of ownership. This is the second time that the city of Corpus Christi has set a deadline trying to find a new owner for the only Caravelle replica in the Northern Hemisphere. So far, we've we've not had the response that we were hoping. Um, in fact, we don't have any response. The city has been in search of new owners, reaching out to other cities and to 46 other organizations. We've also reached out to museums and just other sailing organizations. Um, we've reached out to those three different times during this process. Officials with the city are not even asking for money to own La Nina. There is no price on her. Since 2006, La Nina was under the care of the Columbus Sailing Association before being taken over by the city. President Kim Morazic says the city asked them to market the ship. Find out what interest is there is in, in someone doing this and doing it for educational purposes. La Nina will need to have some work done to her main deck, but Morazic says she can be displayed on land or water. The city is asking any interested owners in sending a request for interest before the deadline. We don't want her destroyed. You know, her sisters were, and um, it, it shouldn't happen. I mean, we should be able to do better than that. Now come Thursday morning, the Columbus Sailing Association and the Marina will actually get together to find out if there are any other alternatives before that deadline of 5 p.m. on Friday.